<laughs> I know, and that's yeah. I think the other one they didn't get well, they didn't get the right permits or something, and right. they, but they went through a lot of effort. Like all these big people in the UFO world donated benches and everything, and they had to just throw it all away. But yeah, the the aliens or the robots or whatever they were, like we really love this story. So I had to come out and see it. I had no idea that Hickson was on the Dick Cavett show. Either did I when I read that. But but if you just googled the thing, Pascagoula and UFO. There's an interview with them on, on you know, oh, yeah. somebody did something out he, there. He made a, a whole documentary in 87, Hickson. It's on YouTube. <laughs> I think it was just public access in the area. There was, like, a call-in show. I guess it was weekly. He said it had, like, over 500 calls over yeah. the time. Yeah. And it was a you know really interesting documentary, especially since Hick, Hickson's no longer with us. Yeah. We actually tried to get in touch with um, uh, Parker, Bye. but... Uh, he, they said he's not in good health right now. Oh, really? His, his publisher said he'll do an interview on Skype or something, but so okay. that was kind of... Yeah, so I didn't live here during this time, but like I said, I like you, I heard that this was here, and I'm like, okay, got to go check it out. I know. It's and, really cool. Uh, it, uh, yeah, and then to, to say that they worked over at Ingle Shipbuilding. Yeah, how far? Uh, do you know where that is exactly? Yeah. Is that right across from us? It's right across from us, so if you... If you went back on this bridge and then you can see the road, there's a bridge over. Okay. It's it's right down there, so I mean it's so you can almost that see that itself isn't it, but it's over. It's that a little way. over that way. Yeah. Because yeah, I didn't think that this would be the actual spot since this is kind of a nice spot. And they said that I know in their story they said they weren't supposed to be where they were fishing. Right. Right. We were gonna. <laughs> I will not shut the hell up. I don't He's know trying why to I'm leave. Trying... He's trying to leave, and you just keep dragging him back. Not, I don't know why I'm trying to impress him with the alien knowledge, but he gave me a good lead there. He was telling me where the actual shipyard that the guys worked at, and we could see it from where we were. So it did pay off. Yeah. He sounded like he he didn't want to tell you at first. He was like, uh, yeah, it's over there. Don't like leave them alone, please. Like, don't he, go he was going to go hang out there. He's like, oh, well, <laughs> now that I told him, I guess we got to go somewhere else. Yeah, Jude's nailing it. He's, he's almost channeling uh, George Bush Sr. right now. I can hear it in his voice. <laughs> He wants uh-huh. to tee it up, but yeah. So, right, hey, right. we gotta go. We let's hear some more. Let's hear more of me telling this guy some alien facts. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right, right. We were gonna try to summon it because me and him have about the same age gap. Uh, uh, Hickson was about forty-two, and the other guy was about nineteen. So I was like, grab a fishing pole. We'll re- we'll reenact it tonight. We'll try to get the aliens to come. We just got him for the camera. He's my son, though, so I can't. Uh, I can't put him in too much danger. Come on, come on, have him go out <laughs> there. You, 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 they'll take it's us. He'll have the proof. There you go. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, so it's so Ingles is right over there. So you know they they worked hard that day, and I don't think that they would be telling any lies. No, I don't. Either. That's one of the things about this case is that everyone just believe like puts a lot of trust in these guys right. and watching right. them I do too it doesn't seem that fantastical they didn't seem to ever make any much money off of it right they didn't seem to be trying and the guy Parker who just put out the book he's he said his health is failing he just wants if, if said if his word is out there then no one can change it because he said he hated talking now, to media have you ever seen a UFO I, I wish I had I have okay. not I wish I did okay <laughs> <Had> some... <laughs> he's, he started interviewing you yeah. Yeah. He's like, okay, it's all right, but okay. Right. Turn the Look, tables this is, on you. This is my first time out in the field for the podcast. All right, I'm st- it's a learning experience. I'm still just a, I'm just a cub reporter, and yeah, I am getting schooled <laughs> I, off the bat. He's asking me questions. Yeah, all right. Uh, well, what are you? you uh, not gonna do it. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Damn. Oh man. Yeah, he, he is nice, and you could tell. And do you hear that? Did you hear another voice pop up? And you were like, "Wait, there was another person there." Yes, there was a female there as well who who stepped about two feet back as soon as I walked up to him with the microphone. and was like, "Oh no!" I love oh, that no. there's there's a bird too that like or like a flock of birds that just every time you start to talk about something important, they like come by like rah, 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 in the background. I love that. It's it's fantastic. Okay. God, I got to get through this. So here's the end of, <laughs> I'm not going to say interview, me talking to two very nice people who just wanted to observe the monument in peace before I, <laughs> before I accosted them. Let's hear it. And some it. streets. Your some son street. came up to try to hear the answer because he's like, he's not an alien, is he? And I don't know about what if his mom has. We got to talk to mom. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, he's a teenager, so to me, he's kind of alien right now. Yeah, anyway, he's like 14, so we're going through this weird molting stage or something. But... Gotcha, gotcha. 
But yeah, we're about to go because I've never even really been to Pascagoula. We, we thought we'd go downtown and eat something, and but we just found it. As soon as you got up the bridge, he's like, that's the Lighthouse Park. I'm like, no, that can't be it. He's like, oh yeah, that's so, it. So, you know, and, and I know you're still recording, but another famous person, there's a famous person from Pascagoula. Who's that? Jimmy Buffett. Oh, okay. So if you oh go down, God. if you Holy go down, shit. is it down Pascagoula Street to where it, you run into the end of it? So if you if you go down either this Pascagoula Street or another street and go just all the way till it ends, and there's a little plaque out there for Jimmy. For Jimmy Buffett? Buffett? Yeah. Oh, that's even better. So, there so, we go. So Jimmy Buffett's from this area. <laughs> for the same thing for this? Well, yeah. For this or for Jimmy Buffett? For Jimmy Buffett. For Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, Jimmy Buffett deserves to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, this is. Uh, it's a, it's a. Well, that's cool. We, yeah, we're gonna go check that out too. So yeah, we're about to go. What's your name, sir? I'm sorry. You can just say your first name or nothing. Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, that man's what a name. sport. Why am I always running into Patrick Henry, that Bartel, this Patrick, that I don't think might even be his real name. But holy shit, what a revelation! Pascagoula is not only home of the wrinkly aliens and Native American river spirit, it's Jimmy Buffett's hometown. Isn't he also a river spirit of some kind? He is. He, his... Well, kind of. He's an old spirit. He's, he's sure. like an, an ocean. He's a sea spirit. Yeah. I, my God, that's got so much going on for it. And we, I hadn't heard of the name Pascagoula until the dumbest alien story. And now it sounds like the most haunted or laid back or possibly alien ridden places ever that guy patrick <laughs> rules that guy patrick ruled we gave him some flyers we had brought flyers with info about the show and uh it was like almost like a wanted poster of the uh, wrinkly robot alien and it's had contact info for this show so people might be listening that ran across a flyer for this in pascagoula that said hey listen to this show so hello pascagoula i like how he wanted he wanted you to ask yourself a question Am I an alien? Absolutely. I am? <laughs> you that was my that, son. Right? He, no, he asked my son if he was an alien. He was your son. Yes, that's why I said, I don't know, I'll have to check with my wife. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, I misheard that part. Okay, I thought you were talking yeah, about no, that. Yeah, um, it's hard to, I know it's hard to picture, yeah, but my son was right there, so he's talking to him, which is, well, he's doing a better job than me, so I'm not, I can't even <laughs> say anything. I mean, but. This this place, it seems like the epicenter of our little podcast family right now, right? We got Sports Lords. It's a mecca because of Jimmy Buffett. You know, oh, we, Unbelievers. Unbelievers, we got the aliens. And Ghost Hunt New England and Serial Spirits, you guys got the Native American ghosts. It's too perfect. This is a convergence. It really is. It's kind of it's kind of incredible. <laughs> it's like the Bermuda Triangle of Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Pascagoula Triangle. I like it. It's time to continue the adventure, though. So let's let's hear the end of this. All right. Well, that guy Patrick was super super nice. We found out there's a Jimmy Buffett plaque too. So we got two big big things. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett, Pascagoula aliens. But I'm starving. Been in a car all day. Let's go see what downtown Pascagoula looks like. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get something neat. Let's go, go bug some more locals. That guy was nice. Yeah. And he said there was people here with tinfoil hats one time he came here. That's why he asked me where my tinfoil hat was. Well, I guess we are the weirdos. He, he got to run into some weirdos too. So <laughs> that's good. <sighs> and he told us where to find the actual Ingalls, Ingalls shipyard where the event actually happened. We'll see if we don't get uh, kicked out of there or I don't know if something happened to us. But uh, yeah, we're going to eat now. That guy, Patrick, I'm thinking about, it. he's like a guy you run into in a video game, and he tells you all the information you need <laughs> right in the beginning. <laughs> Seriously, he put That's us on the path way to look at it. for the entire day. He was like, if you go this way across this bridge on this adventure, you shall find the place where they are abducted. But should you choose to go down this road, you shall see Jimmy Buffett memorabilia galore. <laughs> oh, I was like, don't forget to stop by so here bad. and hit B. Oh, and Russ, you even got to the point where you kept on bugging the NPC and they finally are like, okay. Like, oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I shook him down. I kept shook asking him questions. Yeah. Uh, are you an alien? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He almost started glitching on me. Well, I, had to, I had to answer stuff. I'm like, oh, God, I have to make the choice now? No. Oh, uh, that did feel like a video game. Good, good analogy. <laughs> it's, it's, it was, it was weird. And it, it, let's hear where. I mean, I, I follow him blindly. He could have told me anything. I would have believed it. I think you hear how trusting I am. Like, I oh yeah, like the real was, rough part of town. I just love <laughs> yeah, that he, he could, could he could just tell by like talking to you for five minutes. He was like, you know what, this guy's gonna get a real freaking kick out of. 
this place is Jimmy Buffett's hometown. Like this is gonna this is gonna knock his <laughs> socks off. He likes aliens yeah, and shit. Just wait till he hears about this. It worked. <laughs> It worked. So you hear us there. We're heading downtown. Yeah, but if there was a third option that said eat, that's what we were doing now. So now we're heading downtown to eat. And as soon as we arrive, it is apparent this is a Jimmy Buffett town play. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right, we've discovered a restaurant. Where we're sitting and we're going to have lunch before we go. We found the Paradise Deli and Grill, which I'm assuming is a Jimmy Buffett reference, right? Uh, I suggested we eat a cheeseburger in paradise, turn the corner and find a <laughs> restaurant named Paradise. Yeah, we there was a giant Jimmy Buffett mural real close by here, and then as we turn the corner, we see the Paradise Deli and Grill. I ordered the Paradise Burger. I'm going to have a cheeseburger in the Paradise Deli and Grill. I'm seeing a lot more Jimmy Buffett references and uh, wrinkly robot aliens and UFOs. It's kind of upsetting. Sports are appreciated. We'll do a little <laughs> Jimmy Buffett investigating, too. I have to put that on the back burner. People are looking at me weird for recording in a restaurant. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely. It's a really nice place, though. But, I mean, this looks like a place Jimmy Buffett would love. There's seahorses and surfboards on the wall. There's golf on TV. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it's truly paradise. But a young Jimmy Buffett was inspired coming here. Yeah. We'll get to the bottom of it. <laughs> yes. And you heard Michael say it. We we turn the corner after seeing a Jimmy Buffett mural, and we see the Paradise Deli and Grill. The Paradise Deli. Oh, what do you think was on the menu? <laughs> a lot Obviously. of cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger in paradise. Right? That's right. They only had one burger, but it was the Paradise Burger, and I had it. And it was well. It what was was, really... was there anything special about it? It was a, just a cheeseburger, and it was really it, well. It, it comes make... with lettuce and tomato. Heinz fifty seven. <laughs> French fried potato, <laughs> olive <laughs> kosher pickle, and a cold draft beer. Uh, good God, God Almighty! God Almighty! Yeah, Jude. <laughs> me and Jude are our Buffett, our Buffett boys. I we mean your parrot heads. We're yeah, parrot head we boys. In parrot head families. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. We're generational parrot heads. Yeah. We were nice. forced well, to listen to it from a young age, so we know way too too many Jimmy Buffett songs by heart. Far, I think there is no cure many. for that. It's, it's, <laughs> you guys can get you parents that just take you guys there still and like family trip and russ will be there and we'll do Please. it we'll do that no <laughs> i'm scared i'm scared to tell my parents about it because they probably would yeah. want to go there like that's well that's exactly. fine they can go they just as long as they don't bring you along right you'll yeah. be fine i'm sure well, they'll want mr. me to come if mr and mrs Oki want a tour guide to pass <laughs> hit me up i'll hit you up and earlier, so, yeah, so at the restaurant, yeah, they had the, the Paradise Burger. That's what I got. And the other guys, they didn't get burgers. I was like, what is wrong with y'all? I don't know. So, but it was great. And I mentioned the giant banner there. And here we are. We're investigating that phenomenon of the giant banner for Jimmy Buffett. All right. So, so we had lunch at the Paradise Place, but they got, got these gigantic, oh, not murals, just gigantic banners for, I guess, you know, great people in Pascagoula history. You've got Admiral David Farragut. He was a full admiral. You've got Lieutenant Colonel Lionel Bonham of the Tuskegee Airmen. You've got Trent Lott, U.S. House of Representatives, <laughs> U.S. Senate, Sarah Bailey Thomas, the first full-time female official of the NFL. Dr. Whoa. Calvin Huey, so Robert Ingalls Sr., but who cares? Because the big one, the gigantic one in the middle is Jimmy Buffett, singer, songwriter, Author? Question author. mark? Yeah, Pascagoula. Wow. Not, not any, uh, no alien banners. No no wrinkly robot banners. I don't see Hicks and a Parker on here, but... They're, they're disguising this building. That's why there's bars on the window, man. They're, they're oh. inside. Yeah, it, it is a really <laughs> old building with some weird bars on it. But we can go look around. We're trying to find anything out here. And, God, it is the sky is turning black. It's going to storm on our bench. All right, got to hurry this up. Yes. It's so going to storm it, on your bench. Uh, more of the plants of the bench. Yeah, the sky started turning black as soon as we got out of there. And it, it looked like it was it was about to come down hard. Like, it, we got, it was like, we're only here for the day. If this happened, we were like, well, how the hell are we going to do this? Oh, so did it? <laughs> well, the rain, it did start coming down. And then we ended up, we had to find shelter. This is turn very get video game. We went inside an art gallery. <laughs> We went inside an art gallery slash visitor center, and we got to talk to these just two lovely ladies who ran the center, and we got another great piece of information. Check this out. 
there is going to be an alien festival in Pascagoula this October 11th. And this this next recording, it jumps.